everyone, it's Nona Grace. Today is going to be a little video in a video, I guess. Uh, it'll be a more video than not. And what it is, is I was asked to show how I hold my crochet hook by becoming me, which is Trisha. And so this is sort of a little tutorial on how I crochet and how I do my slip knot. And this is the little, I gotta show you. I, in my video, I'm working on this, which is a fraction of the size of the other one that I did. And what it was is that I forgot to show in the video, and I brought this in so I can show it. When I'm, when I'm crocheting, I have another one I'm starting. This one's going to be a placemat of the same thing. And when I, what I forgot to show you in the video was the other part of my fingers. I showed you at holding it in the crook, but I forgot to show you that I put it between the pointer, pointer and, and the point. middle finger, and those are the two that hold the tension. So when I'm crocheting, I push it over with with the pointer, but it's still, it's kind of gripped in, in my other fingers. This side I didn't show you. And then I just, well that's a double crochet. I don't want to do double. This is all single crochet and so as you can see it's in the fingers. That's the part that I wanted you to see. This this cotton is so bad. This cotton feels like it's still got the wood bits in it from when they made it. Even though like the weevil, 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 whatever the stuff is that when they pick the cotton. I'm stuck on there. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, this is what I wanted to show you how this part is in here and it's kind of gripped with my pinky and this hand does all the holding. So if I had to do a dance, I could dance and around, oh, but I haven't done that one yet. I've got to do that one to some music because I it's, it's one that Pamela, the Adoring Crochet, she did a video where you were supposed to dance and crochet at the same time, and I think I could do it with this kind of holding it. When you hold it their way, I think it would be harder because it, everything's moving around, and this way you're, you've got control of your thread or your uh, item along with your hand. Everything is kind of holding, and it's easier on the fingers, easier on the hand, and you don't hurt so much. Okay, let's go to the video. When I start to make anything, I hold the yarn in this hand, or the thread, or whatever you're using, and I just lay it across my hook, bring it around, I bring this hand over, and then I pretend I'm doing a slip knot, and I've got my slip knot in. My slip knot is in the, I've already got a slip knot, as you can see. It's a slip knot. But that's how I make slip knots. I'll do that one more time. Because I see a lot of people where they'll go like this and like this and then they pull it and whatever. I think they do it like that. I think that's how they do it. Oh yeah, that worked. Whoa! I never do it that way. But I hold the crochet hook, hang on to it with this hand, bring it around, bring this around, and then I pretend I'm doing a slip knot, which I am doing a slip knot, and then pull. And I've got my my first stitch. Then I have the needle is held in the crook of my hand. And this hand is free. And then I will it's like a sewing machine where the needle brings or the over and off. Over and I and this hand is pulling only this. and you do your chain. I'm going to do a chain of 20. And 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now I've got the 20 stitches. And because I'm going to make, I'm going to make another hot pad. That's what I'm going to make. And this is where it was closed up. I'm going to make another one of those. And so you, you, you're you going to single crochet, so you'll just stick it into the, 
you can see the you can see the stitches. You're gonna skip the one near there and you go into this one and just do a single crochet. And you might want to hold it up so they can see how it's on my hand. And my my left hand is constantly holding my my um, material. And I'm going to do a, the slip stitch or the single crochet all the way. And for a single crochet, you stick it in, put the yarn over and pull it through, and then put the yarn over and pull it through too. That's a single crochet. And this whole thing is single crocheted. When you're making the hot pads, I'm coming to the last stitch. So I'm going to make a single crochet there. And with the hot pads, you don't want to add anything on the corner. You just turn. And now I'm going to go into the next. I'm going to go into, I actually go into the hole. Some people maybe will take the upper, but I take the hole. And then you swing this around. And you've got the. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie, I'm going to crochet this end in so I don't have to weave it in later. So you put it in there with the stitch. And you go around. And the right hand works like the sewing machine needle of a sewing, it makes me think of a sewing machine needle going up and down, up and down, up and down. And, um, And you just have a hold of your material in this hand. And I think it's easy because this is how I was taught. <laughs> Almost to the end of that little piece. If your tail is too long and you don't want to crochet it all the way in, you could cut it off, but I'm gonna I'm gonna crochet it in. And there. That's in. When you get to the end, you do the last stitch. Now you don't want to add anything, so you just, now you're going to take the, the two loops of the next stitch. I need more stuff. Take the two loops of the next stitch and you just continue again with single crochet. And now you're going to go into the, just like you were doing a regular crochet because now you've made your your little bit of a and it starts to curve and it starts to make the little pucker there that's gonna that's how it's gonna make the hot pad and you continue on around you work the these you work around and around and around and around and these sides keep coming closer and when they when they match up then you stitch it together you can either whip stitch or um, however you like to sew you need a you need any needle or a needle that is can take this size yarn or thread this is cotton that I'm making it out of and I'm making the hot pads out of cotton because they can withstand heat whereas a different type of yarn would not be good it might catch fire. For this project I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook which I think is a I eye. Trisha I hope this was helpful on how to hold the crochet hook the way I do. My mother used to want me to learn how to hold it the way everybody else does because my cousins did it that way so we did learn how to do it but we always went back to the way my mother taught us. We seem to like that way better. So take care, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.